Assalamu alaikum dear friends today i'm here to explain the top three cases for the main difference mu1 minus mu2 that's three cases are gifts from me that's three cases are very very important for finding the problem so mu1 minus mu confidence interval so must watch this video completely till end if you want to get more concepts so let's start the video here the first case is that first case is very very easy when sigma 1 sigma 2 are given when sigma 1 sigma 2 is given any problem it shows that sigma 1 sigma 2 is given it then then we use z distribution then we use z test and formula is that mu1 minus mu2 is equal to x1 bar because we are finding the confidence interval for means here mu1 minus mu2 is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar plus minus z alpha by 2 because there is a z test square root of sigma 1 square divided by n1 plus sigma 2 square divided by n2 that i have already discussed we know that we already know that sigma x1 bar minus x2 bar is equal to square root of sigma 1 square divided by n1 plus sigma 2 square divided by n2 simple is that so we use when sigma plus sigma 2 in any problem is given then we use this test here the formula is very simple next we move second case next we move second case second case is very very important for use so don't skip that video second case second case simple is that when sigma 1 sigma 2 not given when sigma 1 sigma 2 not given and his problem is that when sigma or sigma 2 are unknown here these values are not given and we check that sample size and n1 and n2 gave them equal to 30 n1 and n2 are gave them equal to 30 it shows that 30 40 50 then then we use z test but here's the change the little that mu1 minus mu2 is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar plus minus z alpha bar 2 square root of s1 square divided by n1 simple is that plus s2 square divided by n2 here is the smallest change that here sigma 1 sigma 2 and here is s1 s2 where s1 s2 are biased where s1 s2 are biased s1 s2 are biased we can say that s1 is equal to smish under tau smish x1 minus x1 bar ka whole square divided by simple is that n1 okay next s2 is equal to square root of Smission x2 minus x2 bar ka whole square divided by n2. So here are s1 and s2 are biased. Next we move, second case is very very simple. Next we move, third case. Third case is very very important. Next third case is very very important for you. Simple. That's the third case consists of two parts. First a part. Third case consists of two parts. Two parts are very very important for you. So must watch this three third case. Third case is that first part is that when sigma one, sigma two not given. When sigma one, sigma two just like second case, but then the smallest change and we check that sample size n one and two is less than thirty. Sample size is n1 and 2 is less than 30 which shows that p distribution which shows that then we use then we use t distribution then we use t distribution when sample size is less than 30 then we always use t distribution and formula is that for part, for part a is that mu1 minus mu2 is equal to x1 
एक्स वन बार माइनस एक्स टू बार प्लस माइनस डी अल्फा बैटू बी हेयर इज डी अल्फा बैटू बिकॉज इज दी टेस्ट एंड इज द टी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो वी यूज टी अल्फा बैटू वी नेक्स्ट एस पी स्केर रूट ऑफ वन ओवर एन वन प्लस वन ओवर एन टू दैट्स द स्मॉलेस्ट चेन इज एस वन एस टू बट देर इज एस पी देर इज एस पी स्केर रूट ऑफ वन ओवर एन वन प्लस वन ओवर एन टू इन दिस केस एन वन डस नॉट इक्वल टू एन टू वी कैन से दैट एन वन इज फाइव एन टू इज ट्वेल्व यानी एन वन एन टू आर नॉट इक्वल दैट्स फर्स्ट केस वी यूज व्हेन Sigma one squared is equal to sigma two squared. When first variance is equal to second variance, then we use SP formula. Next B part is very very important for you. B part is that when simple is that we can say that mu one minus mu two. Simple we say that mu one minus mu two, mu one minus mu two. Is equal to x one bar minus x two bar plus my. This formula is just like before second case as t alpha by two v uh, under root of s one square. It is the stylish as s we use bias and this s we will use for unbiasedness. S one square divided n one plus s two square divided by n two. When s one, this formula we use when sigma one square does not equal to sigma two square. When first variance does not equal to second variance, then we use that formula here. And just like before, n one does not equal to n two. In this case, n one does not equal to n two. So I have cleared the concept that when sigma one square is equal to sigma, then we use s p formula. When sigma one, when sigma n one and two, sigma one square does not equal, then we use that formula. Now we move that. What is S P? And what are the formula of S P? That's very very important. S P. Next we move S P. Then S P. That's very very important. There are three formula of S P. There are three formula. So so much for this video. Formula of Formula of SP. That's very very important for you for solving any problem for confidence interval. So must watch these three formula of SP. First formula. First formula is very very important. SP is equal to square root of n one s one square. Sorry, n one s one square plus n one. Square root of I repeat it n one s one square plus n two s two square divided by n one plus n two minus two is that clear? Next, this formula we use for biased. This formula is used for biased. Second case, s p is equal to square root of n one minus one s one square plus n2 minus 1 s2 square divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2 is that clear that formula we use for unbiasedness that formula we use for unbiased when bias set is given then we use that formula when unbiased set is given then we use that formula next third formula is that sp is equal to square root of that's the largest formula summation X one minus X one bar ka whole square plus summation X two minus X two bar completing square divided by n one plus n two minus two. That formula we use when X one X two is given. When X one X two is given, then we use that formula for S P. That's the very very important. Very very important gives for you that S P three formula of X one X two and degree of freedom. We talk about degree of freedom. B is the degree of freedom equal to n one plus n two minus two. So I hope that we have cleared the three 
cases and SP bomb light. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, then can you must subscribe to my YouTube channel and must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new video. Goodbye.